It was a technological leap that shocked Silicon Valley. A newly unveiled, free, open source AI model that beat some of the most powerful ones on the market. But it wasn't a new launch from OpenAI or model announcement from Anthropic. This one was built in the East by a Chinese research lab called DeepSeek. And the details behind its development stunned top AI researchers here in the US. First, the cost. The AI lab reportedly spent just $5.6 million to build DeepSeek version 3. Compare that to OpenAI, which is spending $5 billion a year. And Google, which expects capital expenditures in 2024 to soar to over $50 billion. And then there's Microsoft that shelled out more than $13 billion just to invest in OpenAI. But even more stunning, how DeepSeek Scrap Your Model was able to outperform the lavishly funded American ones. To see the DeepSeek um, um, new model, it's, right. it's super impressive in terms of both how they have really effectively done an open source model that does what uh, is this inference time compute and it's super compute efficient. It beat Meta's Llama, OpenAI's GPT-40 and Anthropic's Claude Sonnet 3.5 on accuracy on wide ranging tests, a subset of 500 math problems, an AI math evaluation, coding competitions, and a test of spotting and fixing bugs in code. Quickly following that up with a new reasoning model called R1, which just as easily outperformed OpenAI's cutting edge O1 in some of those third party tests. New artificial intelligence being developed in China has ignited some panic across Silicon Valley. The Chinese AI lab releasing models that can outperform America's best, despite being built with less powerful chips. These developments are raising concerns on whether America's global lead in AI is shrinking. China was denied access to top tier hardware, so engineers focused on maximizing efficiency. They trained smaller, specialized models. They chose efficiency over brute computing power, and the result is out there for the world to see. DeepSeek is the biggest example. It puts the West on the back foot. If China can make AI systems at a fraction of the cost, why can't they do the same? If Beijing's models are free, why is America charging for them? So for Washington, this presents a quandary. Trump started with tech restrictions on China in his first term as president. Joe Biden doubled down on them. Now Trump plans to add more, all to keep China lagging behind. But China seems to have flipped the script, which raises a question. Are tighter sanctions turbocharging the very progress they aim to suppress? The answer is far from clear, but what is certain is that the AI race is entering a new phase. It's no longer just about who has the best technology. It's also about who can do more with less.